Hey guys, it's Ryan from Rionet, and today I wanted to share with you what I like about Design Lab, Rionet's new Corel Draw plugin. First of all, let's preface this that I'm not a Corel expert by any stretch of the imagination. So that's the first thing I love about Design Lab, is you don't have to be an expert to use it. And it actually makes Corel Draw much easier to use. You can do so much more stuff without being a Corel expert. Here's what I mean. First of all, let's go through the vector workflow. We have a trade show coming up this week in Baltimore, and I'm working on this Baltimore Ravens logo. Well, brought it into Corel Draw, vectorized it, but check out how easy color separations are using Design Lab. All we have to do is go into Separations, create our color palette. It finds the colors we'll be using in the logo. We select these colors, and now we're going to do a one-step conversion. And basically, it separates it. There it is, separated in Pantone colors, ready to print. How easy was that? We can even generate an underbase and add registration marks using Design Lab. So Design Lab makes doing any type of vector separation simple and easy. But that's not even the best part. Design Lab comes with thousands of artwork images and templates. So let's say we're looking for football. We can do a keyword search easily for football. We can see, see here, under football we have 60 results. We can pull in, now these are just the templates. We have thousands of clipboard images as well. So we have 60 football templates and we're constantly adding new artwork packets in the future. So you can actually purchase more artwork packets specifically for sports or religion or really anything that you want. And they'll be available as we continue to build out the artwork collection for Design Lab. But let's say we like this template. We can place it in our current document. And now Design Lab becomes a template editor. We can ungroup. Let's say we want to change out some text, so we can go to text swap. Well, we, it's not 2010 anymore, so we're going to change 10 to 11. Simply type in 11, apply text, that changes that. Let's say we're going to change crazy to Baltimore. We'll apply that text swap. Now let's say we don't like some of the clip art in the design. Well, we can select one of the clip art elements, delete it. We can even swap it out, so we can go to our art packs or our clip art, and once again, keyword searchable so we can go ahead and type in football we see all the different designs that come up with football and let's say we want to swap this one out for just a basic helmet no skulls for this one let's say so we select the one that we want and we swap the selected option it immediately changes out the object sizes it and puts the new football helmet right in the middle of our design we can then continue to edit move around let's say we want to take this guy out drop in the raven's head, and we can continue to make changes to this template until we're happy with it. Once we're happy with the general design, we can take it back in and actually add some more effects to it. So let's say we want to change the text up. Design Lab has a complete arsenal of effects with textures, prep effects, general effects, and even monochrome conversion for monochrome work. Basically, we can select an element, apply the effect, and then just swap out the font. So instead of boring fonts and boring artwork, we can add some cool raster effects to it. With these effects, you can do some really cool distressed looks without having to do a bunch of stuff in Photoshop. Now once again, we can generate color separations quickly and easily by creating our new color palette, selecting the colors that we want to choose from, and then working off those. You can even replace colors, so once you know exactly what you're looking for, you can simply replace it with the color that you're looking at. And now you can see our separations. Once again, already completed, including gradients and halftones. And now with the comps and design lab, you can actually present this artwork to a customer the way it's going to look on a t-shirt. So let's say this is going on a gray shirt. We can bring in the shirt, move it to the back of the image, and now you have a finished comp you can actually show your customer. You can even tweak the transparency levels on the comp to bring them in front or behind the image. That way it looks just perfect the way it's actually going to look in screen printed real life. Check out Design Lab on our website, silkscreeningsupplies.com, where you can find a ton of great information, check out free videos, and decide if Design Lab is the right tool for you in order to take CorelDraw to the next level.